What is up masterminds and welcome back to Master Star Media. Today we have a provisional title for Dragon Ball Super episode 123 and boy does it look good. Thank you to Ken Zyro on Twitter for the translation who says that the title for episode 123 is Unleash the Entire Power of Mind and Body. So Ken says entire power of mind and body being a four character compound plus entire power commonly used for someone putting in all their effort into something so that his guess is that this is about Vegeta going all out against Jiren. So if you guys know the spoilers for episode 122 says that Vegeta challenges the strongest. That is the title of the episode. Presumably that means that Vegeta is going up against Jiren. This actually opens up a few possibilities. The first thing that this could actually mean is that Vegeta just gets his butt completely whooped by Jiren in episode 122, and then Goku goes and fights Jiren, and this time he gets the full Ultra Instinct, including the attack half, which he has yet to master. This could also be Vegeta actually achieving Ultra Instinct in episode 123. So we know that episode 122 is going to be a magnificent episode because it is being animated by Yuya Takahashi, the same guy who did the beautiful episode 114 that had the entire fandom raving over the art because it looks like classic DBZ from the Boo Saga. Now, Ken Zyro seems to think that this is referring specifically to Vegeta, and that would make sense if at the end of episode 122, Vegeta does gain Ultra Instinct, and that leads into episode 123 is Vegeta Ultra Instinct versus Jiren. That's what he seems to think. And it would technically make a lot of sense if Vegeta understands that the only way that he's going to get to Ultra Instinct is to push himself and fight an opponent that's pretty much going to just stuff him into the dirt. In order to gain Ultra Instinct, from what we've seen so far out of Goku is that you have to basically be on the verge of dying. You have to be basically unconscious to the point where your body is now moving on its own. Your will to fight and your determination is what pushes you through the shell on top of your will for survival which by the way doesn't really make too much sense because it's supposed to be a technique but regardless if Vegeta recognizes this he'll recognize that this is the reason that he didn't turn Ultra Instinct against Kato Pesla and the only way he's going to do that is if he goes all out where he unleashes everything he has and he still loses but he still has that determination to keep going then he could get Ultra Instinct against Jiren. Now even if Vegeta gets Ultra Instinct against Jiren I don't think he's gonna win. I think that it's gonna take a combination of both Goku and Vegeta working together as both Ultra Instinct in order to beat Jiren. Now Goku has shown that he was getting stronger and he was getting the hang of Ultra Instinct as he was fighting Kefla and additionally he does not have it completely mastered because that's what Whis told us and that's what Goku acknowledged that he's still getting the hang of this so if he does get the entire full power of Ultra Instinct yes there is a very good possibility I guess that he can beat Jiren but I still don't really see it I mean he's just too fatigued it's too new of a form for him and I feel like even if he does get the attacking half as well he's still not going to be Jiren level so in my opinion it has to be one of two things either Goku and Vegeta both fight Jiren together both as Ultra Instinct and they're somehow able to win or they fuse into Vegito and that could be technically the quote-unquote entire power of body and mind but I feel like Vegito in episode 123 is got to be way too early. If we're going to see Vegito in this tournament, I feel like it has to be in a desperation mode later down the road. I don't feel like they would just jump into it after Vegito loses to Jiren in one single episode. But how fast Dragon Ball Super has been moving lately, maybe it is possible. But in my personal opinion, what I think that these spoilers, these provisional titles actually mean and I hate to say this, <laughs> is that Vegeta is going to get stomped in 122, and in 123, Goku's going to go back up against Jiren, and this time, the third and final time that Goku turns into Ultra Instinct, he's going to have mastered both attack and defense. Now, I don't see that as a way to win this tournament for Universe 7, but here's the other thing. They have three more people left than Universe 11 does. It will be six on three going into this fight. 
meaning that they don't really have to challenge Universe 11. So it's kind of interesting that they're going to just be aggressive in this scenario when they could pretty much just, you know, sit on their hands and just wait for the, the time limit to be up and put a lot of pressure on Universe 11 to actually be the ones making the move. Now, if Goku and Vegeta are fighting Jiren, that means that we're going to have Frieza, Gohan, and the androids against just Topo and Dispo. And I mean, that should be really easy for Universe 7, for that, for those four. For I mean, Gohan and Frieza could easily take on Dispo and Topo, in my opinion. Dispo has even already stated in Dragon Ball Super that he can't take on Frieza. So you could have something like Gohan versus Dispo, and you could have Frieza versus Topo, which is a damn good fight, which in my opinion needs to happen, while Goku and Vegeta fight Jiren, and I'm not sure what the androids are going to be doing, but who knows, maybe they get knocked out by Universe 3. That would actually kind of make some sense. You would actually have a four on three as the final, and that would, I mean, it would make sense if, if the androids go out somehow somehow from this super fusion coming in episode 120 and 121 and it would make a lot of sense Gohan take on Dispo, Frieza take on Topo and Goku and Vegeta take on Jiren. That would be an amazing end to this tournament and you could have potentially three different battles going on simultaneously. And that would be, I mean, that'd be pretty hot. I mean, that's the stuff that everybody wants to see. That's a true climax in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I do want to see Vegeta get Ultra Instinct. I want to see him get the attacking half of Ultra Instinct, even the defensive half. I just want to see Vegeta get Ultra Instinct in this tournament. I really, really hope that they don't just throw his character away against Jiren, which maybe causes Goku to go back into Ultra Instinct or something like that. That would be absolutely terrible. I mean, Vegeta's always getting the short end of the stick. However, with the way that they've been pumping up Ultra Instinct, with the way that we've seen Vegeta already trying to obtain it in the Tournament of Power, I think it is a very, very good chance that he will get it in episode 123. It does kind of make sense if you roll the episodes together. Hey, in 122, he takes on Jiren, he gets his butt kicked, and then 123, unleashing the full power of mind and body, would totally make sense that in his second episode, of the fight with Jiren, Vegeta is able to obtain Ultra Instinct. But even so, even if Vegeta is able to obtain it in episode 123 and he has this amazing battle with Jiren, which would be incredible, but guys remember, Vegeta is not the main character. So as much as fans love Vegeta more than anything, he's not really going to get the spotlight very often. I mean, he got it in like one episode against Frieza early on in Dragon Ball Super and one episode against Goku Black during the, the Zamasu arc. He's literally had two episodes where he's been portrayed as strong and had some spotlight. But, you know, we are oh, a little bit overdue for another one. So it's definitely possible. And here's the other thing. If Vegeta gets Ultra Instinct, that's a lot of extra toy sales for Toei, right? And what you guys may not understand is that merchandise sales are extremely important for the anime industry. If merchandise isn't selling, usually the anime will not continue because they need that extra money in order to continue doing the series. That's the entire reason that they do anime in general is that they can make money and merchandise is a huge, huge part of that. Meaning, what's a great additional piece of merchandise to sell other than Ultra Instinct's Goku? Boom, Ultra Instinct Vegeta, toys, mugs, shirts, all that jazz. And you know that people would be buying that stuff up. I mean, shoot, I would. If they release an Ultra Instinct Vegeta action figure, I'd probably buy that and I don't even play with action figures. But that's the point, guys. And as simple and as silly as that sounds, it really does make a huge impact on what's going to happen with the story. Is it going to sell merchandise? Is it going to sell toys? Why do you think Goku has gotten all these new forms? Because they want to sell more toys and people want to buy it. And I know it sounds crazy, guys, but I think that is a very genuinely good reasoning that we will probably see Ultra Instinct Vegeta 
in Dragon Ball Super episode 123. I think this has got to be about Vegeta. The more I think about this, the more the arrows are pointing to Vegeta getting Ultra Instinct in episode 123. We're going to be less than 10 minutes at that point. There's not much time left. That's got to be what it is. Vegeta's got to push himself in 122. I'm not sure what Goku is going to be doing at that point, but in 123, Vegeta's going to get Ultra Instinct against Jiren. I can say probably like maybe 70%, I would say, chance of that actually happening. Another 30% chance is that Vegeta just gets stomped by Jiren in 122, and this is actually about Goku. But that's my thoughts on these spoilers, guys. Let me know your thoughts below, and thanks for stopping by. I know I was going to do my review for 119 today, but since these spoilers came out, I'll be releasing that tomorrow. All right, fellas, have a good one, and I'll catch you soon.